almost dead center too. You're back. And that's the mag. All right, well, there is just something nice about going from a zero in a few rounds and hitting that first 950 yard shot on your first try. And it was a pretty easy task to accomplish with this new Bergara. So this is my first 6.5 Creedmoor from Bergara and it is in their B14 HMR wilderness pattern. And I chose this specific version right here, not only because it is definitely a looker, but also everybody that I spoke to in the long range competition world or the extreme long range competition world had a very high opinion of Bergara, their actions, their barrels, and their accuracy to include some of my friends that were special operations sniper. They all spoke extremely highly of just the out of the box performance of these things. And this B14 HMR is the one that I have predominantly been using for not only optics testing, but it's been my go-to hunting rifle over the past like eight, nine months. And I have to say after shooting this thing for the past couple of months, I'm very impressed, not only with the accuracy, but the feel of the thing out of the box when it comes to the smoothness of the action, the adjustable trigger in there, and of course the precision that you can shoot this thing with, with somebody like me behind it, who's not the best, definitely not the worst, but uh, it definitely performed. Now I have found a cork or two with this as I've used it for testing a couple of optics, and I've put several boxes of ammunition through this thing at this point, but it was definitely nothing big. So overall, again, very impressed with this thing. And I've also been very impressed with my Patreons. Thank you very much for all the support. It's because of you that a lot of what happens here on the channel happens. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done here for the channel. I'd also like to give a big shout to Optics Planet for supplying the Trigicon 10 mile that I did a video on a while back. And this Athlon Cronus right here that's currently in testing. I'll have a video on soon because they're a third party and getting the optics from then rather than the manufacturer helps me stay completely unbiased. So I don't have any attachment to the company when it comes to those products. So again, huge thank you to them. And a big thanks to Sierra Ammunition because that's what I've used for all of the precision testing when it comes to the optics and this Bergara. And also Barnes Ammunition because that's what I've personally been using on my hunts. And when it comes to ammunition, it's made me look good. It's been very consistent, it's been very accurate and I will take every advantage I can get especially when it comes to my hunt. Now this Bergara B14R is gonna come in a variety of flavors out there. You're gonna be able to get this thing in everything from 308 to 300 Win Mag and pretty much most of the popular calibers in between. It's gonna come in an ultra slick sniper gray color and that pattern is gonna have that same gray color with some lighter tan and some kind of fractured web lines in there. They're gonna look really, really good. Now that stock is not just a looker, but it has a built-in mini chassis for consistency and bedding and repeatability. When you're taking this thing apart, maybe swapping out some parts on that 700 pattern action. It does have the sub MOA guarantee out of that barrel and that 100% showed in the consistency out there in the range all the way out to 950 yards. And as you can see on this zero target right here, those are definitely sub MOA groups when that barrel was shooting his first rounds on the zero, besides the one flyer that I had right there over to the left. This is a one piece action and it's covered, like I said, in that sniper gray Cerakote, which is very nice. It's a two lug design with a spiral fluted bolt, which is exceptionally smooth right out of the box. The action accepts AICS pattern magazines. I did find there was a bit of tightness when it came to the MDT 10 round magazines, but the factory one was 100% as smooth as it could be. Now the barrel length and the weights on this are gonna vary based on your caliber. So I will go ahead and roll through what the options are with a little bit of calming music. When it comes to the fitting of the rifle, you're going to have length of pull extensions for the stock and an adjustable comb. You're gonna have QD cups on the front and the back of the stock on both sides, giving you the ability to run the same sling on every setup you have from your bolt gun to your gas gun. The barrel is 4140 chromoly steel with a number six taper capped off with the Omni brake which definitely does the job, but the barrel is capped off with 5 8 by 24 threads. So you can change the muzzle device or run a suppressor at your leisure. I know some of you are returning to the channel and some of you are new to check out the goodness here that the Bergara B14 HMR Wilderness has to offer. But if you like this kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That's gonna do a few things for you. One, it's gonna make sure you don't miss any content when these things come out. Two, 
It's going to make sure that other people can take advantage of this content by signaling to the YouTube algorithm to push this video to other people. Some of which may be looking for the same content, some of which maybe have never seen 2A content and might change their mind a little bit. And third, maybe it's just a little stick in the eye to the anti-2A crowd. Also, if you are interested in doing your own research on anything you saw in the video here today, I will have a link in the description to the parts list where you can do all of your own research on everything we talk about or you see in the video here today and maybe find some ways to not pay full price. Well, let's get a little bit more in depth on how I tested this thing. Obviously, I broke this thing out of a fine cardboard box that it came in, checked the action, cleaned it up, and got it set up with the optic that I ran initially, which was gonna be the Tregicon 10 mile. And then I did have run it with this Cronus right here from Athlon as well. Put a few rounds down there to not only zero, but to get the chronograph results at the same time. Kind of a two for one right there. Didn't chase that zero much because honestly, brand new rifle, I don't wanna chase it. I just wanna get a good zero, confirm, and start running the range out there. Now, a big part of your accuracy is going to be that chronograph result. I didn't really look a lot into this until recently after taking a lot more classes and getting a lot more one-on-one -on -one training, but your application or your ballistics app, it's garbage in, garbage out. So if you put bad info in, you're gonna get bad info out. You need to chronograph, you need to true that rifle, you need to get good solid results with consistently good ammunition, plug that information in so you can build your dope card or your app in your phone. And I did use that new Garmin chronograph out there, which is just awesome because it's like literally smaller than this cell phone and it gave really good consistent results. So it's so much easier to get out there and use than something like the Lab Radar or the Magneto Speed, which I, I think are probably gonna be going extinct because they're right in the same price range and they're like a lot more bulky and a lot more difficult to set up. And again, I will link that stuff in the description down below in case you're interested. I started running the targets, everything from like 436 out to that 950 yards. And at all of those distances, this rifle was extremely consistent. So besides me missing a couple at 950 because I wasn't doing my job with positioning a trigger pull behind that rifle, it absolutely hammered everything from the 400 to the 950 with ease as long as I was doing my job. Even after getting this thing nice and hot, running several boxes of ammunition, it stayed extremely consistent, which is pretty much what I would expect from this barrel profile. Overall, through that shooting process, the rifle felt solid, the recoil was manageable, and the added weight of that stock and the ability to adjust it to my body type was a huge plus. Now, I have about 120 rounds through this thing at this point right now, and overall, I am extremely happy with not only the consistency with both the ammunitions I have built dope cards for, but the reliability and the accuracy. Not had a single problem with anything to do with this rifle as far as the function and the accuracy or anything else. Even the looks are just dead on. Right, so things to know and did I have any issues with the Bergara B14 HMR in 6.5 Creedmoor? So as far as the issues go, reliability, function, all that stuff, 100%. One thing you do have to realize, this is a little bit heavier. As you saw on that weight spec, I believe it's like right at like 9.5 pounds. So although I have walked around with this thing for miles and I'm completely comfortable with that, all rigged up as you see it here with just a traditional sling, everything was good to go. If you are in the ultimate weight saving kind of backpacking uh, for days on end for a hunt and you're trying to save every ounce, a nine and a half pound rifle may not be for you. I chose this one because it's the HMR, the hunting match rifle. You can kind of go both ways with it. And I wanted that additional weight because the heavier a rifle is generally a little bit easier to control out there on the range because that extra weight helps you stay a little bit more consistent. The gun won't move as much. You're going to stay on target a little bit better. Your follow through will be a little bit better. And overall, you might just be a little bit tighter on your shots. The one thing that did come up on the range was using aftermarket magazines. So even though this is the AICS pattern magazine right here, I did notice when I used the 10 round MDT magazines that the bolt did seem to hang up on that magazine just ever so slightly. And that bolt is super smooth. But when I ran the Bergara magazine, it was smooth as butter. So I did some asking around and apparently that's not that uncommon. I don't know if it's maybe just the pressure on the spring or if that mag just set a little differently up into the action, but it did have a little bit of a catch a couple times when I was running the MDT-10 with the window on it out there on the range. And I'm sure you guys can see the footage because I've rolled it in, but that is just one thing of note. Now we are gonna set the comments section ablaze because we're gonna talk about break-in. Um, I've asked a lot of people in the long range world, the extreme long range world, the sniper community, 
and I've got different answers from every single one of them, and I've got different answers from every single manufacturer, everything from shoot the thing, clean it, and you're good to go, to these really methodical 100 round break-in processes. And honestly, I don't know what to tell you to do when it comes to that, and I know those sacred cows die hard for people, I've done it both ways and I've not noticed a difference. I've followed a manufacturer's break-in and I've not followed a manufacturer's break-in. My understanding is the break-in process keeps you at peak accuracy longer. It helps you achieve it and stay there for a little bit longer. What I will tell you is what I did with this thing is I cleaned it, I took it out, I shot a couple boxes of ammunition, I cleaned it, I shot a couple more boxes of ammunition, and then I kept cleaning it and shooting it and overall, it's extremely consistent and it goes 950 yards with ease, which is more than you're probably ever gonna ethically hunt with with this thing. So overall, your break-in process is completely up to you. Overall, I have zero complaints for this Bergara B14 HMR. Like I said, it's been the personal go-to for my hunting rig and it's also been the ones I'm continuing to run optics on for testing. So the round count's gonna continue to go up and as that goes up, should anything arise, I will update you. Now, since nobody gets a free pass on the channel, even though this thing is pretty awesome, and like I said, I've been using it for my hunting rig and my testing rig, if I had to change one thing, it's gonna be the mag release right here. It's okay, it's good. I would like to see a little bit more of an extension because especially when I was in a cold environment out there using thick gloves, I more than once kind of bypassed it. So as you can see right there, it's not really huge, it's not small, but I bypassed it once or twice and just went right past it when I was wearing some thick gloves. So a little bit of an extended mag release from the factory would be cool, but that's really nitpicking the thing. Everything else is really good to go. Make sure you get subbed up to the channel. Keep doing it on the range. Practice your precision shooting. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. And I will see you all on the next one.